Yep. Everybody is being recorded now. Thank you. Okay. Welcome, everyone. It's nice to have a group in person. Um, unfortunately, our chair and our vice chair are not able to join us today. Uh, so you'll have me running the meeting. Um, chair Caldwell is not here, uh, nor is Vice Chair Jackson. We do have Commissioner Breckenridge. We do not have Commissioner Curtis, unless Craig, can you let me know if um, we have Commissioner Curtis join on Teams? Absolutely, right now in the lobby is Scott Van Gogh. And we can admit him. Okay. He is Eden Hunt. Hi, Scott. Uh, we have Commissioner Malloy Hello. here, Commissioner Steiner, and Commissioner Waddell. Is Councilmember Harris with us? Uh, Economic Vitality Director Heidi Hansen. I'm present. Thank you. Thanks, Heidi. Uh, Brian is not with us today. I am present. And we have Tim with us, as well as Adam, who this slide has not been updated. So thank you, Adam. And Missy is not with us today either. We have Craig from Economic Vitality helping us. And Craig, if uh, Orville hops on, let me know as well, because we'll do his report. And he did tell me that he was going to be able to join us today. I will do that. Thank you. OK, uh, we'll open it up for public comments. Not seeing or hearing any. Um, no announcements at this time. Uh, do we have an approval of the October minutes? I move we approve the October minutes. OK, do we have a second? Second. Thank you. That was an approval by Commissioner Waddell and a second by Commissioner Malloy. And then if we do not have uh, Commissioner Councilmember Harris with us for the council updates, we'll move forward. OK, so for staff numbers, our employment numbers and our fuel numbers just came in this morning, so that's exciting to be able to share them with you. You can see we're almost at 8,000 for October, um, which is a thousand plus more than September. You see it is lower than last October. Last October, we did still have United. Um, so that makes sense with that dip in numbers, um, but it is a, was a pretty strong month. And as you can see, it was our busiest month yet in 2023. So we have certainly been busy and we hope to continue to be. Um, and American did add an That's extra. Right. Like I said, the past two months, uh, uh, American did, uh, add additional flights. Yep. And where, flights are full. Where to? We still have our same service to American to Phoenix and Dallas Fort Worth. Oh. If we ever add a new destination when we will get there, a new airline will certainly let you know. Um, but our service right now on American is Phoenix and Dallas Fort Worth. But are both of those flights didn't you say American added two flights? They did. So they added a Dallas flight and then another Phoenix flight. Okay. And when did United leave? United left uh, October 28th of last year. Not that you recall. Not that <laughs> I recall. <laughs> um, our total operations, um, the air traffic control tower is very, very short on staff um, and are bringing people up from Phoenix. So we have not had the numbers for September or October yet. And, aren't ready to harass them quite yet because they're doing the best they can. Um, so hopefully we'll have those numbers to share with you um, at a future meeting. Has Orville joined us? Not yet. OK. Um, so fuel flows uh, are pretty steady for October, um, not as much as October last year, but more than September. Um, we've had a lot of military flights and just a lot of general aviation charter uh, flights on the ramp. So Orville's fuel sales are looking pretty good. And again, it looks like that corresponds with our inflamement as well, that it's the highest number of 2023. All you, Adam. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm going to give some updates as to where we are on some of our capital or our grants, our CARES grant funding. Uh, some updates. 
First one I'd like to kind of go over real quick is our terminal maintenance phase one. That one's been going, uh, that's been going on for quite some time now. They're starting to get some steam, which is really, really nice. As part of that, what uh, one of the, um, our, one of the commissioners that asked us, the chair had asked me to kind of go a little bit more in depth on some of these and include some of the other scope elements that are part of that particular contract. So I've, I've done that as, as part of this presentation. So the terminal roof repairs, these are uh, the flat roofs that we have, like over the uh, office areas for our commercial carriers um, above us or uh, above baggage and as well as um, uh, above the hold area. Of those three sections, two of them are essentially done. We are doing our, our preliminary punch on uh, two of the three, so the west and the east. Um, those are near complete. And then the above the fold room, they started preparing that today. They're going to hit that hard um, next week. So that will be the third and final portion of the roof repairs. We've also had some uh, office uh, carpet replacements. The United's and as well as Americans, uh, their office area was real, real, real bad shape. So that has been repaired, as well as Brian's office. Um, that was also repaired, had some of the original carpet in there. It was time. Uh, concrete column, I don't know if any of you noticed out front, we had some spalling of the concrete columns above the pedestrian walkway, and we've got those repaired, and we put a concrete cap around that to hopefully uh, extend the life of that. That work is near complete. We've had some sidewalk replacements within the uh, ADA areas and our just general foot traffic, so those are near complete. We have one more panel in front of one of our automatic doors that we're gonna wait until we get a little bit closer to putting the doors in to replace that. Um, our exit uh, signage, that is near complete as well. What we did was our <clears throat> emergency exit signs were not current, were not current as far as com compliance. Uh, as it pertains to compliance, so those have been replaced. And the main doorways <clears throat> to the terminal, so all eight of those doors are scheduled to be replaced. They have been a uh, maintenance um, thorn uh, for some time now, and so it's time to replace those. Um, hopefully, uh, we can get moving forward on that uh, during the month of December. Um, they're still being manufactured currently. And the terminal window screening, I said scheduled for the beginning of or the beginning of the month of December. And those are, if you look outside this, this conference room, you'll notice these smaller windows. Those actually open up. We can control those and, and uh, improve some of the, uh, the temperatures in here, especially in the summertime. But the problem is when we open those, we can get birds and, and other types of um, garments. Critters, correct. Um, and so we're, we are getting some screens put on. And I was notified about 30 minutes before this meeting uh, was scheduled to start that uh, actually uh, we're looking at beginning that next Wednesday. So we will be moving forward on that. Next project I'd like to go over real quick is our airfield maintenance phase four. Um, the lion's share of it is complete. Um, this of this particular project, we refresh all of the pavement markings on the commercial as well as the GA aprons um, and also the entire uh, nod movement uh, boundary line as well. That was complete. In addition to that, uh, we had our FAA inspection. You may recall we did have a time in October we had the runway shut down for a APMS project of um, some asphalt maintenance. And as part of that, Alpha 1 was not completed. Uh, that was removed from the scope uh, by the state. And so when we had our FA inspection, uh, they came up here and went, um, something's wrong here, you need to correct this. So those pavement markings were refreshed uh, as part of that, and that work is complete as well. In addition with this project, we have some staff parking lot improvements. Um, we are going to be uh, doing some maintenance on the lighting. Um, Right now, we're using a light plant out there. We have been for several years now, and that light plant is going to go away. And what we're going to do is we're going to put dark skies compliant uh, lighting on uh, just some poles out there. So that way we can get rid of that 
um, the use of or the need to uh, rent that particular piece of equipment. Um, that is look most the rest of these are looking to begin during the spring of 24 and also a pedestrian gate for our employees uh, that utilize that particular parking lot. Um, we also are looking at uh, regrading the lot and correcting some potholes, some oil stabilization and restriping. So all of that work will be completed in the spring. Um, that's when we can get in there. The restriping and the repaving, that's just your staff parking lot. That's not the main term. That's correct. That's Is there any time. plans for that? For or the main parking lot? Yeah. Uh, yeah I'll be getting to that. Okay. Uh, thank you for the question and thank you for the, the softball on the, the perimeter. <laughs> on the, another project we currently have going is our perimeter uh, fence maintenance project. What this consists of is uh, we've identified several areas of the fencing that have been damaged um, and damaged primarily from wildlife and wildlife interactions. Um, so those portions are either getting repaired or replaced, as well as a lot of our top rails are damaged. So that is also going to be addressed. And a lot of our fencing, the fabric itself, the ties uh, in some areas have been uh, damaged uh, or broke. So we're going to retie basically uh, two thirds of the entire perimeter. So that work has started. The duration on this particular project is approximately eight weeks, weather depending. Um, and they're on their second week and we're moving forward. We do have some upcoming projects I would like to bring to you all to your attention. The first one here is our terminal fire sprinkler. Um, we are going to be replacing our fire sprinkler. Um, currently, the system we had, um, it served us well for a number of years, but even though it's a dry system, uh, water does condense inside of those pipes, and when it does, it can corrode it. And then when you go to do a pressure test, uh, that pressure will find that corrosion and uh, show us where we need to repair. So instead of we've been doing over the years some spot fixing and uh, we think that ship has passed. And so we worked and uh, got it designed uh, to be a completely dry system. And um, that work that we received a bid on that, we went back and forth with the contractor and uh, we got to a point where we all agreed. And that is in final contract negotiations, but essentially that means we've received the, their bid for the work. We have funding for it, and now uh, that final contract is being reviewed by the legal uh, department here within the city. And as soon as they're done with the review, the contractor will get it and we'll move forward on that. The second portion of that uh, is a terminal light replacement. There's some other components that are part of the fire sprinkler. It's part of this light replacement. Um, you may have noticed when you come in the terminal, some of our lights are malfunctioning. Uh, we cannot get some of the bulbs for them. Um, so what we have done is we, again, have worked with our design consultant and the contractor to look at um, changing those, the lighting um, and getting more energy efficient fixtures and um, uh, fixtures that we can maintain. Because currently right now we can't get some of the bulbs. So we are going to be moving forward with that. That's pretty much in the same as the sprinklers. Um, the, our procurement is writing the contract right now. It's legal to review uh, soon to follow. Third project, terminal flooring replacement. Uh, we did receive uh, um, some feedback from the FAA and they said, yes, please, uh, uh, your flooring appears to be damaged. So this would qualify for your funding. So please move forward. So we are gonna be moving forward with that as well. Um, our uh, station maintenance, um, we have some exterior paint that needs to be done at the ARF station. It's got its original paint on there, as well as a lot of the metal work on the outside. Um, it's starting to show signs of corrosion, so we're going to get that corrected. And before I turn the, the meeting back over to you, Claire, um, there was a question, Commissioner, uh, regarding the parking lot. To make a long and arduous <clears throat> Um, storyline as short and concise as possible. Yes, we are looking at doing some improvements to the parking lot. Um, originally, when we received the CARES Act, 
uh, funding, we had asked our ADO whether or not we could redo the parking lot. We said absolutely. So we identified what we want to do as far as scoping is concerned, how much concrete, what curbs, so on and so forth. We've got them identified, we've got them quantified. Um, and then there was a revision to the circular and basically said, no, you cannot R&R &R, uh, all of that asphalt. So what we have done is uh, we have gone above the ADO and we've asked for clarification uh, from the FAA directly, since they will be the one that will be reviewing our payments, our, our payment requests. Um, and we have heard back on all the projects, but that one specifically. Um, but we are looking at moving forward, at least with the concrete replacements. We do have numbers for that. Uh, we are moving forward with that as well. Irrespective of what we do with the parking lot, we've got some bad concrete out there and we have some uh, ADA ramps that are no longer what I would discern as compliant. And so we're gonna do some corrective measures on that as well. We were hoping to have already started that, but we have not at this time. So we're still chasing down those, uh, what we're gonna do with that paving out there. Something's gotta be done, whether we're looking at a type, uh, a slurry seal or some other form of maintenance um, that will be a, amicable to the FAA, but we will be doing something out there and it will be early spring. My apologies. Yeah. Yeah, because I was just curious because of the striping, you know, back to when I parked, I went, yeah, oh, there's no stripes on the parking lot. <laughs> I, I assure you that will be a portion of it. Um, point that we bring that up is we're also looking at doing some other uh, pavement type maintenance as well. As you come into the airport here at Pulling Drive, Back in 2016, we did a mill and overlay on that particular. And what it was was basically kind of a stopgap because it was going really, really bad as far as the roadway is concerned. It's performed exceptionally well. And so instead of letting another year or two go by without a, a seal coat on it, we have uh, met with one of our uh, horizontal JOCs to look at giving us uh, proposals to do a slurry seal on that, refresh the striping as well as looking at areas within the Westplex as well. We've got some fairly large thermal cracks. We've gotten several complaints on it. We're looking at addressing that too. Again, that'll be early spring. So I will not be getting Christmas cards a year from right now mm -hmm. from a lot of people because it's going to be very noisy, dusty, uh, but we're going to get a lot of work done. Claire? Any questions for Adam? I have one question. Please. Is there a point in time where we lose any of that CARES Act money if it's mm -hmm. not spent? Correct. Uh, June. June. Okay. June 8th, to be specific. Yes. Uh, met with our accountants two days ago to find out exactly how much we have left of it. Uh, of course, she wanted to go out two decimals. I said, ballpark at this point in time. I'm, I'm juggling all these projects here. Um, and as it stands right now, it looks as though we're going to be coming really close to spending all of the money that was uh, provided as, as part of that grant funding. Anything else? Thank you for the question. We're really flying by. OK, um, so I wanted to remind everyone about the 75th anniversary and <laughs> thankfully everyone in this room has actually RSVP'd. So thank you for that. Um, we look forward to seeing you. Um, and again, most of you have said who you're going to bring or if you're going to bring family, kids, everyone's welcome. Just let us know so we can appropriately have the correct amount of food and justify that. Um, our December meeting, we typically cancel um, because of the holidays. I wanted to discuss that. My recommendation would be um, that we cancel our December meeting. We will have a new commissioner seated, hopefully December or January. So I think we could start fresh in January and then have new appointments for a chair and a vice chair. So I would encourage everyone to think about if they're interested in that. Um, if we don't cancel it in the December meeting, I believe it was December 16th. So would we like to cancel the meeting or do we want to keep it on the books? It's the 14th. You're right, it's the 14th. <laughs> I was going to come on the 16th. No, Saturday. <laughs> well, any objections uh, to canceling? Okay. It's the holidays, everyone's. We start fresh in January. Mm -hmm. Most of you hopefully will be here. Um, when will the council be approving? Uh, so they usually is we just need one more application and we will be securing that application this week or early next week, hopefully. So 
before January, we will have a full new commission um, with two faces you're familiar with and one new face. Um, so I think January we can start fresh. And I believe the staff summaries are going to draft it on that. Yeah, we just needed an application. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then we'll we get it on council agenda and yep, get it done. We'll, we'll get that. Yeah, so excited to have. Um, a full commission and then I wanted to give a little update on our airport advertising. Um, there's certainly been some things in the news so our airport advertising is still on hold. Um, we're bringing before forward a policy um, for our city council again on next Tuesday the 14th. So if you're interested in that you can certainly watch it live. Um, through the city website, city streaming. It's also on YouTube, or you can watch it at a different date, um, or we'll update you on our January meeting um, of how that conversation went. And then um, we can talk a little bit about air service attraction because we have a little bit of time. So it's certainly something that we're really working on um, and having conversations. So we hope that in the new year, um, we may be able to share some updates with you, but that's certainly um, one of our highest priorities. And I can assure you, I'm working really hard on it. Any communications business questions? I have a question. Um, there's a lot of maintenance going on, but is there going to be a, like a remodel of the terminal? Is is that in the works or in the future? Let's define remodel. <laughs> <laughs> By remodeling, um, like a tenant type improvement, like painting, refresh the carpet, just kind of brighten it up. That, yes. But as far as... Uh, expansion mm -hmm. um we do have that on our capital improvements plan for down the road okay. obviously it's going to be a funding type sure. conversation we're going to have to have with some of our, our our grant providers if you will um it's in our master plan to do some um and as claire had mentioned earlier you know we're still having conversations once we with specifically to commercial service Right now, we're kind of, as far as a space is concerned, we're at a pretty good spot, but if, let's just say hypothetically, we were to get one or two or goodness help us, if we got three uh, commercial carriers, our hold room now becomes kind of a, our limiting factor, the size of it. What's the hold room? The hold room is right after you get through security and you're waiting to- Oh yeah, the, the where the people wait for the planes. Correct. Uh, that's kind of our, that's our, our, our bottleneck, if you gotcha. will, specifically. Um, so we have plans in progress right now. Okay. We have had conversations with the FAA as well as ADOT. Uh, and we do, uh, uh, twice a year, we do have meetings with the FAA, ADOT, and, and uh, to have conversations regarding our, our capital improvements plan and where we're going. Also, we've had recently, or fairly recently, we updated our, our master plan and that kind of outlined what some of those steps were, what some of those flags were, and FAA has reviewed that and approved the master plan as is. So they're very much aware that um, here in the near future, if um, uh, if that curve still keeps going the direction for which it is, we're gonna need to do some terminal type expansion. Um, before we can do that, we're looking at relocating whiskey and that's what we're already looking at oh. next year relocating that to the over, taxiway the taxiway whiskey okay. correct where we'll be moving it more towards wiseman if you will okay um and that'll uh, afford us some more space for that growth along with that i was wondering is are they going to refresh the art or the, do they have a committee looking into art for the inside side of the building we've had conversations internally about that um and faa funds can't be used um, so we would need to, and Heidi had her, I, Heidi, did you want to chime in on something at the, I saw your hand up for oh. the last topic? Yeah, I just wanted to throw out that um, it, we do, just like Adam said, we are planning to um, increase the uh, size of the hold room, and that might mean that we go out. Um, we also have plans uh, where you come to the scheduling desk to kind of, uh, pull that out to the sidewalk at some point um, so that we can, you know, have other flights come in and we can have multiple flights that need to leave kind of near each other and we can fit everybody in the hold room. So those are two projects that we will continue to 
try to do when it call when we're talking about expansion. And then um, when we do our 20 year plan again, we'll we'll talk about how, you know, where else in the terminal or what else do we need to do right now? We actually fit our terminal. We just don't fit um, all the bays for air for the air. Uh, the bigger planes and things like that, and I know that Brian and, and um, Adam are dealing with that. One thing I did want to let you all know, our city manager uh, hates carpet, and so he has asked Brian to look into um, a different type of flooring, and Brian has brought some really good suggestions from some other airports. Um, one's kind of like a rubber flooring that can handle, uh, you know, the wetness of our seasons, things like that. Um, we don't want people coming in and, you know, sliding and tripping and, and having issues. But that is something that when we do replace, he does not want to see carpet again. Um, he wants to see something else. So uh, Brian looked into that and I'm sure he's going to end up sending that over to Adam to to manage. Um, but anyway, so there are a bunch of other things that are that are in the works that we will bring back in, uh, to all of you. Um, one of the things I did want to say is Claire is not in this by herself on air, airport or air, airline attraction. Uh, Brian is uh, traveling to the bigger ones with her, but but Claire is definitely going and keeping up the relationships, which has been proving to be very effective because we have some upcoming meetings with some airlines. And I think it's because they're getting to know Claire and Claire is constantly getting in front of them and letting them know that, um, you know, this is the information that you need to hear about. I did just um, uh, looked at the tourism numbers and they're they're fabulous. So for leisure travel, we have a big story to tell. And then I've also been talking to our top 20 employers. So again, uh, they're helping us with, you know, giving us their growth estimates and things like that as well, which is always what an airline wants to hear about. So at any rate, I just want to let you know um, some of the things that Adam's doing. It's a lot, but he'll actually be doing even some um, other projects way past CARES um, that we know that we need to get done in the in the airport terminal. And then one of the biggest things that we're still trying to do is we didn't have a very successful air cafe um, RFP process. We definitely need to get a cafe into the airport and the city manager talks to me about it every single time we sit down. <laughs> so I just want you to know we are not not trying. Um, it is just very difficult because some of the people that are interested are people that have really kind of been running more of like a food truck and they've never actually been in a solid location where, you know, you have to show up and and work from 4 30 to 4 in the afternoon so we're going to be changing a little bit of the scope of work and making sure that um the next bid everybody that does bid on it knows exactly uh what they're bidding on and and ensuring that we can get something hopefully in this year put into that into that um slot so at any rate more to come on all of that and thanks for letting me ramble i appreciate all of your um assistance on this commission. Thanks, Heidi. And the RFP actually was posted yesterday. Before the RFP was posted last night, I actually had two interested parties um, come and talk about it yesterday. And I think the proposal had gone out to 10 uh, people that had registered that they were interested in it. So we're hopeful um, it closes, I believe, December 8th. Hey, and then Claire, thanks for letting me know that. Can you send me uh, that link so that I can I had some people that were interested from the economic development side as well and we'd love to get that um, over to them thank you yeah are you, are you able to share it with us as well and we could pass it to people or how, how <laughs> planet it's bid. on planet bids okay. so go on planet bids and you can see it okay. and then Heidi Adam said right now that he's going to for or no or you're not on that email I'll forward that to Heidi sorry you looked at me <laughs> why don't, why don't yeah. you forward it to the whole commission and they it, the commission knows if you have a question just don't do an all reply just ask the question to claire or to adam um and we can go from there so thank you it's that internal email heidi so i'm not going to forward it to the commission but i can send out the information perfect 
And then going back to the art, um, we've certainly had discussions and tried to figure things out. Um, I would have liked to have like local artists, things like that. Um, FAA funds don't allow us to do sure. art. We talked about um, kind of redoing that trophy case area by the fireplace. Um, so we could have rolling exhibits, but we've been in conversations and with our grant funding on how we can do okay. that um, because money can only be used for certain things. Yeah. I Thanks for that, because, you know, the, everybody sees the the terminal. That's the first thing they see when they get off the plane. And I was just it'd be nice to have a Refer some appropriate yeah. um, current art, I guess. And I'm working um, actually, I don't know if you're familiar with Creative Flagstaff and ArtX. Um, they did an event. It was their kickoff this year in the downtown area, but it's kind of bringing an art festival to all over Flagstaff. Um, and we've been in conversations. It's next May um, right. that we're going to activate the airport for something. So that will be art. And then I think we're going to do a storytelling aspect. Um, so look forward for that because okay. it would be and we'll do some fun things. OK, um, but that will only be for a month and we're not spending FA money on it. Thank you. Hey, Claire Tidy. I'm sorry to interrupt, but. Uh, beautification who did the um, paid for the the beautiful coconino scroll outside the fence if you I don't think you've missed it right it's it's fabulous they're st still fixing the medallions and everything um, that tell the story or help to tell the story but we also have a place making piece that people can pick up a brochure if you're talking about wanting more art in, unless it's rotation of art Claire and the team can work with Beautification Arts and Science, Jana Weldon, our manager, and um, she could get some of that on her five-year plan because she'll go into very soon a five-year plan retreat with her commission. And if you have some ideas or some things that you'd like to see, we can definitely have that as a discussion item for them. Awesome. Yeah, we'll do that. Going back to the <clears throat> expansion of the terminal. Mm -hmm. You mentioned FAA, you mentioned ADOT. So if there's anything that goes on, is there three pots of money that all kind of joins in? I'm assuming the city also. That's correct. Kicks that would be the third leg. Generally speaking, yes. Does the county have anything to do with it? No, sir. No? Not to my knowledge. Okay. So there's a lot of negotiating between parties to figure out when, when and what can be built. Correct. So it's a periodic nightmare, basically, as any other federal construction project, I would imagine. Potentially. Yeah. Hmm. How's paid parking going? <laughs> I we have not received um, last month's numbers as of yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm anxious to see what those numbers are from uh, our uh, finance department uh, because last month I think it's going to be more of a more of a norm. Mm -hmm type of month. Uh, we do have a milestone that we're we're hoping to attain. They have not finished compiling those numbers yet, so I do not have them. Will our passes work today? Yes, they will. And if not, Adam's going to be out there. If not, uh, we have park flag here as well. Yes, we have park flag. I'm sorry. That was not that was a <laughs> that deal. That was where thank you for learning with us. <laughs> hey, the, the assistance line worked great. Good. Yeah. Because we heard elsewise from other people. So uh, a lot of work for you. Well, they, yeah, my ticket would cost that much here. Hmm? Yeah, ticket would cost that Oh, great, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. We gave one person the right <laughs> ticket. Okay. Um, with that, if there's nothing else, I believe anything else for the good of the order? What's the date of the January meeting? It will be next year. The 18th. 18th. Uh, the what? Actually, no. the 11th. The 11th. The 11th. <laughs> the the 11th. Are, dates are hard for me today, clearly. <laughs> so we'll figure it out. <laughs> One of us. Somehow I have it on all my, my calendars. So. It's on your, yeah, the calendar invites there. Okay, do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Second, so that was Commissioner Steiner uh, with Commissioner Waddell for the second. Um, thank you everyone for joining us and uh, hope to see you at the 75th. If not, we'll see you in January. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.